So this is how I feed my magnetic loop antenna, which is a problem because uh, every time I want to change bands, I have to undo or add more turns to the toroid here. And that's a problem because I don't use my antenna as often as I should at home. Hi, this is Gildi, Radio Prepper. In this video, I'm going to show you how I remedy that problem. And that's by making a selection box, a band selection box, a little bit like an old uh, telephone switch with a jack that you can put into uh, the plugs and select the number of turns you want to use. And I'll start doing that by designing a 3D box. I'm using a Tinkercad as usual, tinkercad.com, created a box here, a solid, 75 by 75 millimeters. Now I'm going to move that to the side and uh, I need to hollow the inside of the box of course so I'm going to start by the uh, toroid. So I pick a uh, hole cylinder, so it's a hole and uh, I'm going to actually here before raise the top of the box because I want the thickness to be 24 millimeters. Then I can uh, pick my cylinder here and uh, set the uh, diameter to 36 and uh, 36 by 36 of course. I need to make it a little bit taller, move it uh, inside the box just uh, where I want it. Now I'm going to select both and uh, align so it's aligned on at least one uh, plane. And now I can raise it by 2 millimeters so I don't take off the bottom. I select both, I group, and now we have a nice hole. Now I, we need some space for the, uh, the BNC and uh, the banana uh, sockets. So I'm making a box here. Uh, smaller by uh, 4 millimeters, of course. And I'm just going to uh, yeah, make it uh, a little bit taller as well place it where I want. Uh, it looks centered too, so I need to raise it of course again by two millimeters so I don't uh, take off the bottom, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger first. Just like that, perfect. And uh, now I'm going to raise it. So I pick it here, raise it by two millimeters. One and one more. Now I'm going to select both, group, and that will uh, of course make a hole in the box. And uh, here's the result, so we have our box. Now I need the uh, two half boxes, so I created another uh, empty box here and I'm going to cut it in half basically. Then I'm going to select it and copy. And then I need to mirror it because, of course, it's not the, the right way uh, around. So we have two half boxes. I'm going to click on the uh, mirror button. To choose the uh, direction. And now we have two half parts. So, of course, that's because I don't want to dismantle the antenna. So otherwise, I would just have uh, designed it another way, but uh, that's easier. As I am editing the sound, of course, the part is already printing. I'm done with the design. So we'll have a look at that uh, later for the progress. And now let's get back to the uh, design. I'm going to uh, cut the corner here. So I'll just uh, create a void. I'm going to move it in place just where I want it. And uh, of course, I want to cut the corner on the other side as well. So uh, I'm going to make a copy of that move it to the other side and uh, then I need to uh, move it of course and but you know what I can just uh, mirror the part and that's going to be much easier so mirror direction and here we go I need to uh, put it in the exact same spot as the other side of course so it just you know looks good select group and uh, here we go less plastic now let's make the uh, the hole for the uh, BNC connector. So that one is 9.3 by 9.3 millimeters. I use metric, that's so much easier. <laughs> Some of you guys won't agree, of course, but uh, yeah, it is. 
Okay, so uh, now I need to uh, change the orientation because, of course, uh, that's not how I want to make my hole. So 90 degrees uh, the other way. Place it uh, again where I want it approximately. It's not going to be correct, but uh, I can uh, correct that uh, just right now. Uh, just about here. Okay, put it in and uh, I'm going to align it vertically. So select align and the vertical is uh, right there. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to uh, move along with uh, a banana socket. There are going to be uh, four of them. So this one is six by six millimeters. Again, uh, move it by 90 degrees and place it. I'm not going to show you all the holes. We're going to uh, move right along then skip, uh, skip ahead, but uh, here and I also, by the way, made a hole for the uh, two millimeter uh, for a wire to come out here. Now I group, select, and uh, here we go. We have three holes. The uh, printing is very slow. It's it's a six and a half hour print, so uh, it's pretty long. And uh, but it seems to be moving right along. Uh, we'll continue with the design of the box. Now you know. It would have been much simpler if I had uh, made the holes and the cover before actually uh, splitting the two halves because now it's a big problem. So I created here two uh, semi um, cylinders and uh, I'm putting them against a void that will of course uh, be in the center of the piece here where there is no, uh, there is no plastic. And I'm going to uh, put them together, those three pieces, and that should make my uh, center hole for the uh, toroid. Much more complicated than it had to be. <laughs> but, you know, it happens, and uh, I do make mistakes, I'm human. So, here it is, uh, together, I'm going to place that in the uh, center, just kind of eyeballing it here. And uh, that should, uh, you know that should work just fine uh, of course it took much more time you didn't have to uh, sit through that of course uh, all right so i'm going to now make the uh, the cover and uh, that's something i should again have made much earlier and before splitting the two uh, so uh, here is a rectangle uh, now i'm going to have to of course cut the corner again uh, the same way 45 degrees, place the void and uh, select the whole thing, group, and that uh, will uh, take it off. Uh, I made it a little bit smaller because I want uh, to, uh, to make a spot for my cover. This is not the cover, it's actually going to be a void to, uh, to make a spot for the cover. Uh, now I made it 2 millimeters, I'm going to raise it, place it in the uh, correct spot. Of course, I'm going to have to make it a void, but I want to make a copy first because, of course, I'm going to keep that for later. That's going to be the cover itself. And uh, I'm grouping and uh, uh, here we go. We have our void. And now we have a good spot for a nice spot with an edge for the cover. Same thing on the other side. And now I messed up. Uh, I lost that footage and I have to go back uh, to show you the steps I took and it, it was again way too complicated. I had to make a copy of the uh, centerpiece, the, uh, the void in the center, to just make the hole in the cover uh, in the right spot. So here you can see the process. Uh, it took a lot of time and uh, I, I grouped the two and of course uh, that made a hole in the right spot and now I can put the, uh, the cover right next to it. And that's it guys. Okay, now we are in Cura, the next program to uh, which is the slicer. Uh, I'm setting the quality at 0.2 millimeters for the, uh, the, the layers because it doesn't need to be uh, you know super pretty so uh, the rest of the stuff, 20% uh, infills, that's the density of the material, that's enough, it doesn't have to be super strong. Uh, the bed has to be at 75 degrees because uh, Celsius because uh, it's a PLA plus and that's a requirement. And uh, that is set now. Then I'm going to uh, check, okay, the speed, the uh, travel. 
I can, uh, yeah, I, have, I want to enable retraction. Cooling, yes. Support, uh, no. Oh, well, maybe support, uh, yes, support for the, uh, actually, I want support for the holes. So I'm going to put the support on. And uh, so the holes won't, won't end up being uh, oval. And a uh, skirt is fine, so I'm going to slice it. And slicing basically uh, produces the, uh, the final uh, file uh, instructions for the printer. And that's, uh, that's, as you can see, that's more than six hours. That's a long, long print. But, you know, I need it, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm saving the file and uh, putting it uh, in the printer now. I'll tell you, I really wish it was that fast in reality. <laughs> Someday, maybe. My concern is that uh, I really uh, hope it will fit properly, especially the cover. I'm not really concerned about uh, the box itself, but uh, the cover, mm, I may have to sand a bit uh, to get it to size. Well, let's see if I can get the mouth. Now, usually it's pretty difficult. <sighs> Pulling with all my strength here. I don't want to damage the, the bed here. Maybe I'll wait that it cools off. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Let's see the cover. And it's, uh, it almost fits fits pretty well actually uh, maybe a little bit of sanding on that edge but other than that uh, yeah that's pretty good that should uh, work just fine so now after a little bit of uh, cleaning up i'm putting the jacks in the uh, banana sockets and this is how it's going to look like once assembled so the bnc on the left then uh, the toroid will oops the uh, toroid will have five turns, so uh, this one will be uh, tapped on the second turn, third, fourth and fifth turn. And of course a wire will be connected to, uh, to the ground here probably and go through and have a banana uh, jack, and which will uh, be, uh, you can choose your turn then, your tap. So basically this will allow me to, to choose the bands I want to operate on. And here it is with an identical uh, toroid to the one I'm using. What I should have included is a flange here on both sides to uh, to help uh, keep those two parts together. So a little flange on both sides to glue together would have been nice. I have to remove the old wire and clean this up, of course, here. And now, of course, I'm going to put my five turns of wire here. So that's one turn, two and five. As usual, the, uh, the turns are counted on the inside of the toroid. And now I just have to uh, glue the two parts together. And now I'm, uh, I absolutely can't move for the next five minutes, maybe ten. A little bit more here on top to make it stronger. So now this wire here goes on to the last uh, banana. Oh, it's almost too short. It is too short then. I we'll have to pull on that. Uh, this one will go to the, uh, to the center of the BNC. So I'm going to cut it to size and uh, strip the enamel. So I'm burning the enamel off, then I'm going to file it. Make sure that I uh, show the copper. 
Now I just have to solder it. I had to add a little piece of wire here because it was too short. I can't say it's pretty, but uh, it is certainly good enough. All right, now I'm going to finish that off, solder those uh, wires. Let's not forget the uh, banana plug connection here. Banana jack is here. So that's it here. Now to change bands, I just have to uh, move the uh, banana. So that will be for uh, 15 meters, 20, 30, 40 and 60. And that's what my uh, magnetic loop covers uh, with a 5 meter perimeter loop. So let's make sure we have a, a short everywhere here. Yep. Yes. All right. Great little uh, multimeter, by the way. KM601. That is the last of my epoxy, guys. <laughs> I don't have any left. So hopefully uh, that will work. This is to put the covers on, of course. And of course, I have plenty of epoxy on my fingers. I am so glad I finally took care of this. Uh, this is going to be awesome. Now, hopefully, you will find me more often, uh, probably on a GS8 and, uh, you know, the CW part of the band's uh, evenings, probably at home. <laughs> now that I can switch bands much more easily. If you would like to help this channel, see the uh, Patreon link uh, down below, the coffee donation link. And I really uh, would like to start on uh, Bitcoins. So if anybody has Bitcoins, <laughs> send me a fractional Bitcoins. And uh, the link, the, the address is also down below. Thank you very much and uh, have a good one.